Hello, this is Brad Tallis with NextGen Solutions, and welcome to this week's Fusion Friday. In today's topic, I'm going to be talking about the benefits and the power behind direct editing. So let's jump right in. Okay, in this example, I have a Raspberry Pi board that I want to mount into a case that I found on GrabCAD. Um, however, you'll notice that the case is for a Raspberry Pi 2. Um, the Raspberry Pi that I have is a 3. Um, I'm hoping that this will work. Uh, let's go ahead and position the board in place and we'll take a look. So I'm just going to grab a couple points to... Um, mount this board real quick and I'll grab that guy there and put it there and say okay and so now the board is in the correct location on these two mounting posts however I noticed that maybe there's a slight difference um, between the audio port from the version 2 to the version 3 um, you'll see that this um, recess here is not quite lined up. If I keep investigating, um, it also looks like they might have moved the SD card over slightly. And so this opening, I want to shift over a little bit. But the, the most important thing is I want to make sure that um, all the mounting posts are correct. So I'm going to section through the assembly. So I'm going to use section analysis. Now here's a neat little tip. You'll notice um, it says select a planar object to define the cut plane. I'm going to go ahead and click that face, but I want it to go back into the middle of um, these mounting holes. And you'll notice as I hover over there, it says snap to. So I'm just going to click on this cylinder and it's going to snap back and slice through the center of the mounting post. And sure enough, we can see that there is a slight difference between the Raspberry Pi 2 and the Raspberry Pi 3 board. Um, and so these posts are not in the correct location. Where we uh, created the joint, those are good, but I want to make a change to these. Now here's the issue. There's no timeline. There's no history. This came from another CAD system, potentially, and so I don't have a sketch that I can go back and make a change to or change a dimension, for example. And this is where direct editing is extremely powerful. I'm going to work directly on the model. So, for example, I'm going to select this interior cylinder and this exterior cylinder. I'm just going to right mouse click and I'm going to say move. And you'll notice it's going to move faces. I'm just going to translate to the left or to the right a little bit. And you can see it's doing a live update of what that would look like. And it's actually physically moving the mounting post. But I do see an issue. I notice that this chamfer isn't moving with it. So I'm just going to go ahead and hold down my control key to control my selection. And I'll just add that chamfer in there. And now you can see the whole post is moving. You might also ask, well, how come you didn't select the bottom face? Well, Fusion is smart enough to say, well, if this whole cylindrical face is moving, this face has to move with it. Also, I don't want to just drag and try and get close. I want to be very precise. So I'm going to use this point to point option. So I'll say point to point. I'll hover over this edge and click on it. I'll hover over that edge and click on it. And it's going to move from the center of the first edge to the center of the second edge. And we can see that that post is now perfectly lined up with the mounting hole of the Raspberry Pi. Well, what about the post in the back? Well, I can come in and add to my selection. So I'm just going to click on this face here. But I also want to get the, the hole through the center. So here's another tip I hope you all know about. If I click and hold for about a second, it allows me to probe through my design. So this is the first face. And then it's going to, like a laser, kind of go through. And there it's selecting the interior face. And then I'll go ahead and select the chamfer. And now we can see that both of these standoffs are moving at the same time. 
I'll say OK. And there we've just repositioned the standoffs for the Raspberry Pi 3. And I didn't have to remodel the, uh, the case. Same thing with um, this recess here. I'll just go ahead and select these radial faces. I don't need to select this face because it's touching these other two faces. So if the blue faces move, this face has to move with it. So I'm just going to right mouse click, say move. And just like before, I could say translate and I can drag and move this around. So I could do it by eye if I wanted to. But again, I want to be more precise. So I'm going to say point to point. And what's neat about this is I can hover over like the circular edge and I'll just go ahead and click there. And then I'm just going to hover over a circular edge of the audio jack. And you can actually see like this little line right here showing where it's going from and where it's going to go to. So I'm just going to click there and you can see how those faces slid over to be in the correct orientation. So we've just fixed that. And then I'll come in here and let's just select these few faces, just the vertical ones. Don't need to do the horizontal ones. We'll say move. This time I don't really have a distance or anything like that. So I'm going to do it kind of by eye. So I'm going to start to drag and get it sort of toward the what looks centered. And we can kind of see maybe around 0.5 looks good. So I'm going to say, let's move over 0.5 millimeters, say OK. And we've now moved that recess for the SD card. So hopefully you saw the power and the benefits of using direct editing on these imported models. I didn't have to use any sketches. I didn't have to destroy any of the model and recreate anything. I was able to work directly on the model just by selecting faces and moving them around. If you want to learn more about direct editing, I just completed a webinar where I showed this example and many others to show the benefits and the power behind direct editing. I'll include a link to the recording to that webinar in the description. Thank you and we'll see you on the next Fusion Friday.